Hey Air Science and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for you Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, I will be doing two different spreads so hopefully if the first one doesn't resonate the second one will. The first one um, is a well it's just a regular past present future. Um, the second one is uh, male female clarifiers with the after tarot as our predictive um, our time predictions. All right, we will stop on that. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they need to know? It's really thundering here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's just like pouring out. I love the rain. All right. We will cut the deck here, bottom of the deck being your guys' situation you are dealing with. Oh, that's you. that was what I was going to do second, but I'll do it because that's what I called for. Gemini. Libra. Aquarius. Beautiful energy for all you guys. Bottom of the deck in your situation is the Ace of Rods with the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands, or Two of Swords. What are you guys not seeing? You're not seeing something or a decision isn't being made. Okay. So, let me get my clarifiers over here. Yeah, so there's a choice to be made, but somebody's not seeing the clear answer. It's right in front of your face. It's right here. Um, it's like God's knocking on your door and you're peeking through the peek hole. Um, not wanting to answer your gift is here your blessing is here your new beginning um, your new opportunity to create to to live out your passion is here but why won't you take off that blindfold and see it why are you keeping why are you keeping yourself hidden let's see here for some of you this could be your person that isn't making ow I just got a paper cut. I've never gotten a paper cut on my freaking tarot cards. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, whoa. Gemini, the card that came out is the Six of Wands. Your bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands with the Star and the Ace of Wands. Are you about to get a connection that you have been wishing for on a star? Some of you could be moving locations, moving homes with somebody and finding success within it. All right, let's see here. Gemini men. <laughs> Gemini females. Gemini females. Oh, I just flipped. Okay. Gemini men. Your opportunity is coming in for you to create something very big that you are very passionate about. Um, you're hoping for this new beginning. You're hoping that somebody sees the cup you're extending. You're hoping that somebody will take that blindfold off and make a decision to create this passionate connection, um, build on it, to, to expand it. The star is also about blessing things and expanding them. To me, this is divine timing. Within a month, this connection um, is going to have an opportunity to go in a amazing big 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 opportunity in a big direction your person you're dealing with also could um, be needing to heal need to replenish their energy very tired you could be connected with a fire sign or an Aquarius that's all I see here for you Gemini um, Gemini females you're the one that is missing what you need to be seeing um, the universe is trying to hand you your blessing, your wish. It just may not be in the appearance that you think it should be. Um, because you wished for it, here it is, and you're not seeing it. Um, because you have this blindfold on. It's time to take that blindfold off to see that everything you had hoped for is right here in this new beginning. Um, like I said, it just may not be something that... in a, It may not look in, like... It, 
in the package that you had hoped for. So if you were hoping for true love, a big opportunity, a big relationship, and, and here it is, true love is at your door, but that's not, that's not Tom. That's what I wanted. True love, when I said true love, I meant, it's like kind of one of those, it's going to show up in whatever uh, it needs to look like. So be cautious of that. Your big opportunity, your passionate new beginning, maybe with somebody that you never thought to even look towards for love. Um, but they are your big opportunity. They are your big wish. And they will fulfill you in a big way, emotionally, passionately. Um, it's just uh, needed to be recognized. And you will. You will. Within the next four days, four weeks, you're going to see this person is going to show themselves to you. They could be a fire sign in your life as well. Um, Gemini females. So, yeah, both men and women you are getting your wish you are getting a fire sign for some of you if they're not a fire sign they most definitely are somebody who is very passionate who is willing to wear his heart on his sleeve and and have the action to go behind it this person isn't scared to show you how much they love you this person isn't scared to um, try something new to if it doesn't work, what, what's the worst that's going to happen? But it's going to work. This is going to work in a big way. By following your heart, by being passionate about what you do, you're going to open a door for a big opportunity. Um, just Gemini females, oh, <laughs> take that blindfold off your eyes so you see this huge opportunity coming for you. Okay, Libras, you are at a distance from somebody. You are thinking about somebody. You're thinking about a new beginning with somebody. Um... Somebody's got to make a choice. And while that person is in indecision, you're just standing here waiting, waiting, waiting. Somebody could have promised you this new beginning, and so you're waiting, waiting. I feel like you've been waiting there a while, Libras. Libra men. <laughs> you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Libra men. For some of you... <clears throat> I, that just that just cracks me up. Um, that is crazy though. Gemini men, you got a double card, and so did Gemini or so did Libra men. But for some of you, the three going into the six, by you sitting here waiting, doing your work while this person was in indecision, you doubled your uh, worth, your value. So by you um, investing in yourself, by you concentrating on you, manifesting this connection. You went from a three to a six. So now by you taking the time to manifest and waiting on this person, you are now going to be successful in whatever is coming into your life now because you went from the three to the six. The six of wands is one of success. Um, for Libra uh, men, you could be moving, moving like a long distance to have this new beginning. Um, you weren't sure if you were going to get this uh, beginning new beginning but you are it's going to be very successful very passionate very a lot of <laughs> this is very sexual as well um when you guys finally see each other again um <clears throat> libra females could be waiting on a virgo um or a fire sign but in the meantime of you waiting you have had your nose to the grindstone working very hard at manifesting what is coming in for you your ships are coming in and it's going to be a big payoff. Your person is going to take that blindfold off and see the cup right in front of them making a decision. But for you, it may be another three to eight weeks. Anywhere from, yeah, three to eight weeks is what I'm hearing before this person's going to um, make a decision. However, they are going to see what is in front of them within the next four days to four weeks. But it's going to take them a little bit longer to um, make that choice. Yeah, but you're really bringing a spiritual relationship. You're manifesting it. It's here. It's going to be here for you very quick. Um, yeah, very quick. Let's get an outcome card for you, Libras. Where is this waiting going for Libras? Where is, are they waiting for? They're waiting for 
that love of a lifetime, bottom of the deck, four of wands, you are moving, see? So for some of you, um, you could be waiting to hear for a job offer. You've been waiting and waiting, waiting, it's coming in, that offer is coming, you're gonna move, and I even said that, some of you are moving, you're gonna move for this job, it's a big decision, there's a lot to think about, what are you having to give up in order to get it, um, but it's gonna pay off, all your hard work is paying off, Libras. Um, and you're gonna be able to follow your heart. You're going to be able to start over um, with this person. If it is a relationship, um, you're gonna create something very beautiful together it, as, a, you know, as a life. If it's a job, you're gonna be very successful. All right, bottom of the deck there was the Ace of Swords So with the Two of Wands. So most definitely you have a choice to make. Um, if it's in career, if it's in love, they're coming. They're on their way. It's just going to take, like I said, for uh, Libra men, it could happen this week. It could happen in three weeks. But that's as far as I see for you. Um, three days, three weeks for you, Libra men. All right, Aquarius. Wow, nice. All right. So, Aquarius men, you guys are coming forward telling the truth, walking your truth, doing what it is that you feel is right, doing what it is that that you're guided to do and it's gonna be it's gonna guide you right to this new beginning it's allowing you to step into your truth and and really be who you are is what I'm hearing you could be walking away from a Leo and moving in the direction of a water sign is what I'm seeing for you um, that's cancer Pisces Scorpio but but the universe is illuminating some things for you Aquarius and it's gonna make you have to decide what is my truth. Your path is being illuminated. Some things that were done in the past are being brought to you to be shown. Um, a new path is being shown and, and enlightened for you. So you gotta decide, which direction do I go now? Where am I heading? Where is my next destination? You do the right thing by following your intuition, by following the path that is lighted for you, by walking and living your truth you're gonna get this new beginning. You're gonna get this big opportunity, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. I don't, I don't see air applying here, but for you guys, um, I believe you're the air in this uh, situation. But you do have big things coming in for you um, as long as you follow where you're guided to go after some things are illuminated in your path. All right, Aquarius females, you have somebody heading towards you, somebody that you have been waiting for to make a decision. They were sitting in a place where they were focused too much on all they had to give up in order to get a new beginning. Um, they're seeing the truth of the matter. They're coming forward, uh, telling you the truth of what happened, asking you for forgiveness, asking you to move forward um, with them. They're wanting you to give them a second opportunity and this is your second chance to have this door of opportunity open to big abundance in every area of your life and it paying off because you followed your heart by allowing yourself to forgive this person for allowing yourself to move forward um, no longer settling for anything less than the truth you're gonna get a big opportunity um, a big relationship in a in a very big way is what I'm hearing for you guys. Let's get your outcome card. Aquarius, where is this Knight of Swords leading to? Wow, both of you. The Ace of Pentacles. For you Aquarius men, you now have the sun and the moon, the yin, the yang. You have a divine counterpart that you are dealing with. Um, for the Aquarius females, you just have major abundance coming your way in every area of your life because you're having the courage to take the blindfold off, to live, just to live with, I'm okay with that. Like I just hear, I'm okay with that because this person did hurt you. They did, but they're coming forward telling you the truth. And you're going to forgive them. You're going to get this amazing new beginning, Aquarius females. For you, um, for both of you, actually, 
there is a major job opportunity coming for you as well where you're going to have to choose do I stay or do I go? What if I go and this doesn't work out? What if I go? What look, I have to give this up and take a chance on this. What if I don't win? What if I'm not successful? So you're kind of ignoring the fact that you have to make this choice. Follow your heart wherever that leads you. It's going to lead you to big abundance for sure. Very positive for all of you guys. Holy cow. Pays to be an air sign today. Oh yeah, and the bottom of your deck is the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. So when you follow your heart and you put in the work, your abundance grows in every area, not just money. I always say that. The Ace of Pentacles to me is the Minor Arcana Sun. So both of you guys got the Sun major arcana and the minor arcana is how I look at it but big things coming in for you Aquarius that is awesome okay let's get your other spread going here all right first card is you air signs what am I at oh I'm only at 16 minutes the Sun again my goodness follow your intuition and take the path that you guys are feeling in your gut that you need to take. You guys could be having some, you know, doubts, self-doubts. Um, what if this happens? What if that happens? Don't do that. Don't let your ego rob your future from you. Because fear will do that. The sun is trying to show, the universe is showing you like signs, synchronicities. Take this path. Take this path. Gosh darn it. Take this path. You have to listen because with the sun comes out that many times the sun the universe is trying to show you this is the way like it can't get any clearer unless they put like huge arrows you know you know the path to take so take the the way that that warms your heart that you know and if you're having a hard time figuring that out sit out in nature let the sun hit your face let yourself soak that in because in that time when you're spending time in nature, it will become clear to you. You will, oh my gosh, the bottom of the deck is the moon. You could be dealing, this could be a divine partnership. So if you are in a situation where you're not sure which way to take, follow your heart. Go where your soul will take you. Because they're the only, like that's the only way you will know where to go. And and get back with that your you know the yin to the yang the divine partner you will be guided you will make it there is what i'm hearing and like i said if you don't know which way to pick go sit out in nature sit in the sunshine and just be silent um and be observant because um oh my gosh because the universe is showing you exactly where you need to go all right your person Oh yeah, the rest of your cards that fell out while I was sitting there talking. The Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, so. The next two cards that came out. The Hierophant and the Eight of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. Let's get your outcome real quick. I'm getting all sorts of messages. You got the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands for your outcome. The bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords, clarified with Judgment, and the Princess of Wands. Next card, Two of Swords. Congratulations. You guys are making that decision. You're opening up. You're seeing the truth of things. You're seeing the light around um, what needs to be seen. So some of you are getting out of a negative situation, completing a negative cycle, healing from that. Some of you could have had um, broken marriages that you were healing from. You had to get over the pain and heartache of that. Um, but this cycle is done and over. Um, your shared energy, both of you, whoever you're coming into a relationship with, air signs, you have both been through some shit. You both had some betrayal. You both had um, somebody walk away and leave you for dead is how you felt. But um, the universe is 
conspiring to bring you somebody who is full of love in your direction who absolutely will care and love and adore you you could be reaching out to a fire sign um, actually these are both yeah I got Aries and Sagittarius here um, with the judgment the universe is giving you a second chance to have love again to be passionate to gain that youthful experience again that that innocence of new love that just comes together um, if you've known this person and they are coming back they're going to be they have they will have grown so much from who they used to be that it will be like a brand new relationship because this relationship is dead and gone the past is the past new is here for some of you people are returning for some of you but either way it is a divine connection for the majority of you with the sun and the moon so go where your heart leads you because it's going to bring in this this beautiful connection of a equally balanced love um, an equal give and take that is protected by the divine by the angels um, when you love yourself you project that love out to others and it's just going to reciprocate in such a beautiful way this is a beautiful new connection or a connection that is coming back together after you have been with each other in this lifetime um, the person you're connecting with they could be a fire sign we got Aries Leo Sag um, Taurus Capricorn yeah so this person um, they are very intuitively guided they are very connected tuned into the universe um, they're also a healer uh, so many people are attracted to them they're very confident in what they do they're very confident in their love for you um, air signs and this is like a perfect match the Sun and the moon the two of cups this is most definitely somebody who has been brought to you because you have healed and and left the past in the past this new opportunity for big love is a beautiful gift to you um, this is somebody who is very spiritually connected like I said because these two cards came out together um, you could also work with spirit you could also work within the church um, be you know uh, you could be very intuitive as well <coughs> yeah most definitely so um the two of you have a very very strong spiritual connection especially when these two come out together you are having to answer for the things that you have done in the past but you have the good karma and the universe on your side so you get the positive return of the love you get the good karma this is good karma coming back for you um when you follow your path you could have to walk away from something air signs in order to get this um, you have to be very grounded very stable very sure of what you want and take those steps and walk um, towards this stable connection um, very uh, passionate yet very grounded very very connected to the like this is very spiritual because the Queen of Wands is is very psychic the King of Pentacles is very grounded. He's very Zen. He's very, uh, he just, he just gets it. And then you have the sun and the moon with the judgment and the Hierophant. This is a very spiritual, very beautiful connection. Your guys' outcome. When you take action behind your thought, when you finally make this decision for some of you, um, you are well rewarded with that Ten of Pentacles and that Six of Wands. When you go after what you want, if this is what you want, go after it. You may have to walk a different path, but if it's what you truly want, what you truly desire, take those steps. Some of you could have to leave a family behind. Well, not like a family, but some of you could be leaving somebody that you built a family with. You never have to leave your family behind. That was the wrong way to say it. But you could have to walk away with somebody that you have built a life with. Somebody that you have put years into the connection in order to walk a path that you truly feel is fit for you. That you truly feel you will find success in. Um, and you will find success. For some of you, you have to take action and go forward.
for this go for your dreams this is making your dreams come true this is building everything that you possibly can in this lifetime um, with the six of wands having much success behind it but you won't have that until you get out of that indecision and take action um, but with the promise of this why not walk this like I said the Sun and the moon were there so the Sun is illuminating your spiritual path that you must take in order for those eight of cups and ten of cups or two of cups to equal that beautiful ten of cups that is coming in for you air signs because that is the promise that you guys have wow that was that was a very that's such a strong spiritual connection you have the ten of cups and the three of wands so um, after you make this decision to follow your heart you will get that emotional fulfillment with the ten of cups this person could be at a distance from you um, especially if they're a fire sign but have no fear your uh, your prayers have been heard they are being answered air signs you will be guided in the direction that you need to go um, like I said just be one with nature be one with Mother Earth get out there and be that King of Pentacles just sit and be grounded the Queen of Pentacles uh, or the Queen of Wands is one that is very grounded as well meditate let that Sun hit your face you're gonna be guided to where you need to go and it's gonna bring you very uh, to a very happy place with that emotional uh, fulfillment and that financial abundance especially you Aquarius all right one card of guidance for our air signs one card of guidance thank you oh my god <laughs> okay so your card that came out go outside air signs go outside let that sun hit your face you have been indoors too long go out and get some fresh air and let it clear your mind and let you connect to the divine your bottom of the de oh you had another one golden opportunity when you take that king of swords and take action you will have important doors opening up for you walk through them that's exactly how I just wrapped up what I just told you I think that is so cool when they do that bottom of your deck sacred space it's time to create an altar or visit a place of power to connect with the divine go outside meditate get grounded get grounded in your sacred space Go outside and let the sun hit your face and all those doors of opportunity will open for you air signs I hope you guys have a beautiful day it looks like you're all in store for an amazing journey that's about to begin for you guys if you're feeling blocked feeling stuck go out take your shoes off stand in the grass and let the Sun warm your face it'll all become clear for you guys so all right air signs I love you all I will see you next time God bless